A baby makes love stronger, the days shorter, the nights longer, savings even smaller, but makes the home happier. Hi folks, we are back again with a wonderful video which is neither related to cooking nor health benefits. This video is specially dedicated for the moms to be. This video explains about the ultimate hospital bag checklist for mom and the baby. Are you excited to meet your little one? Not to wonder if in case your baby arrives little early than expected. So it's worth having your bag packed in advance. For this, you need to have your hospital bag ready by the 35 weeks of your pregnancy. If it is your first pregnancy, there is no joy like shopping for a little one and waiting for the big day. This will help you to be sure about everything you need for yourself, your new baby and your birth partner. What you need to pack for yourself, the mom to be. First one is the ID card of yours, followed by if you are a working mother and if you could claim the hospital expenses, get permission in advance and take the insurance card with you. Third point is check with the hospital on the paperwork that you need to do before in this pandemic. My hospital has asked me to take a COVID test for me as well as the companions who are going to stay with me on the day I'm getting admitted. Fourth, take your prenatal medical records. Then comes the toiletries. You need to take your toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm if it is winter, comb, hair oil if you use it, hair bands, moisturizer, soap and shampoo. Then have a set of nightdress or nightie which will be easy for feeding the newborn. You can also take a set of fair clothes if in case you are not comfortable with your night clothes while visitors visit your baby. The eighth point is maternity bras. This will definitely make you comfortable. Then comes the bathroom slippers to wear in the hospital bathroom. Followed by this is cell phone and its charger. Then a notepad and a pen to quickly note the feeding sessions or any other reminders to note down your questions to be asked to the doctor or nurses if any. Twelfth point, you can bring your own pillow and bed sheets to help you to relax. Thirteenth is about stem cells. If in case you have opted for storing stem cells, don't forget to take the cord blood kit with you and be sure to fill the paperwork. 14th, books, magazines or movie on your phone if you will be induced for labor and you will have time for the labor. 15th, juices and fresh fruits for preparing juice to stay hydrated followed by snacks and light meals. 17th is underwear and napkins. 18th, compression belt for your back support, followed by nursing pillow. It's time to celebrate with the sweets. So the 20th point is the sweets for distributing to the hospital and for the visitors, those who come to meet your baby. 21st is the bag to put the dirty clothes and finally the breast pump if needed. Packing list for your partner and the person accompanying you, toiletries for them, comfortable change clothes for them, magazines, cell phone and charger, cash or credit and debit cards. If they are under medication then their medicines. What to pack for after the delivery for the baby? Nail clippers for the baby, baby wash and baby powder. Then mittens, cloth diapers and use and throw ones too. 
dresses for your baby, burp cloths and wipes, and finally the receiving blanket. Hope you found this video useful. If you like, please just leave a comment and just share to your friends if needed. If you like, kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you.